Okay guys, now that we're bound and everything is set, what we wanna do is go ahead, let's unplug our drone, take our battery. Let's go ahead and put it back on the charger now to get it ready, because we wanna be able to fly this in just a little bit. So let's keep that charging, okay? And at the same time, let's go ahead and we're gonna turn off our radio for the time being. So let's power that down, okay? And we're gonna set that aside. And we're gonna focus now on the drone itself and getting us into beta flight. So the first thing, <coughs> excuse me, that we're gonna do is we're gonna plug in our USB plug. You're gonna hear Windows detected, okay, just like that. Try to get it, what we wanna do is we want this drone to be as flat as possible and facing away from you, okay? And at this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring up beta flight and I'm gonna move the drone over to the other side of the screen and we're gonna go just like that, all right? So now with beta flight, I we wanna go ahead and click connect. Okay, and the first thing we wanna do here is we wanna reset the Z axis. This is basically telling the, the computer that the drone is actually facing away from us perfectly. And then we're gonna calibrate the accelerometer, okay? That just basically tells it that it's flat and level, okay? We're gonna go to the ports tab here, and we're gonna just make note of the fact that port number two, UART2 is on uh, for serial, which means that that's what our radio connects to when we fly this drone, all right? Under configuration, I'm not gonna go through all of it right now, but what I will show you is that we're running brush motors the motors are not gonna run when we arm it, they're only gonna run when we give it throttle. So even if it's armed, if you don't move that throttle stick, you will not see the motor spin. Here I could show you that it's talking about the motors being in reverse order, and we discussed that when we put our propellers on. Everything else here is pretty much left standard as it is, okay? You can go ahead and type the name of your craft if you like. So for me, I'm gonna go ahead and put my name. Uh, whoops, let me do it this way. Dash. MQ60, okay, you can put whatever you want. This will be specific to your name, so if you're ever watching your drone on camera, you're gonna see this name pop up, okay? Everything else here needs to be set just like it is. Serial-based S-Bus, RSSI is fine. Leave everything else just like it is, okay? Uh, we're gonna turn off, the, use the D-Shot beacon, okay? And we are gonna go ahead and add telemetry here. We're gonna just turn that on for the time being, okay? And I think that's pretty much going to go ahead and take care of everything that we need for right now. So let's go ahead and click Save and Reboot. Okay. Wait for it to come back on. There we go. I'm going to move the drone over now. I'm going to connect again. And I'm going to bring my radio back in at this point, okay? And what I'd like to do is I'd like you to also now go ahead and get your battery. I know it's been charging, but we need to go ahead and power this up so we can connect to our drone. So go ahead and plug your battery back in right now. Okay. Oops, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me rephrase this real quickly. Unplug your battery, make sure it's not in right now. We wanna go ahead and unplug the USB. And the reason being is you have to remember, and I had just forgotten, is that if your radio is not on and you power up your drone, your drone's gonna automatically go into binding mode again. So before you power up this drone uh, to connect it, right? You're gonna to wanna to have your radio on first or else it's gonna to wait to bind again. So go ahead and just turn this on. Welcome to OpenTX. Okay, wait for your radio to get on and into its main screen. Drop warning. All right, turn off, a uh, fail save is not set, that's fine. Hit, hit exit. Now that we're at our main screen, now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna plug in our battery. Okay, and we're gonna see that we have our solid green light at the bottom again. Okay, and we're gonna plug in our USB cable. Okay. And now we're gonna click connect. Okay. And go ahead and do a reset Z axis and calibrate accelerometer. Okay. Let's go to power and battery. And under the power and battery option, I'd like you to go ahead and drop down and use onboard ADC and onboard ADC for both of these two options here. And then I want you to click save. Okay, now this won't take effect until you re repower the drone. So now go ahead and unplug your battery. Unplug the USB, okay? Plug your battery back in. Plug your USB back in. Let's connect. Wait for it to connect here. Okay, and now that we've got those set, let's keep going. Let's go down to our receiver tab. And now all of a sudden you can see that if you move your sticks, you're gonna have input, okay? So there's a few things here that we need to, to uh, be sure of, right? <clears throat> the first thing is <coughs> these, these areas here need to be at 1500 
and this throttle needs to be at a thousand and I'm going to show you exactly how to do that okay so here what we're going to do is we're going to switch screens now and we're going to go uh, we are going to move and make the beta flight the smaller screen and we're going to go to our radio because a lot of the work now is going to be on our radio okay but I do want you to watch the values in the top right corner and watch the values of the beta flight roll pitch yaw and throttle as we do this okay so the first thing we're going to do is we need to calibrate our radio so let's do this hold your menu button down and then till you get to tools, okay? And then I want you to press your page button, keep going, okay? And you see where it says hardware. It's gonna be six of seven usually. It's gonna say hardware and then it's gonna say sticks and calibration. I want you to hit enter. And I want you to, it says press enter to start, so hit enter again, now wait. Now you need to center all your joysticks and all your stuff, okay? So make sure that your throttle is as good center as it can be. And it's also including this dial right here in your top. Make sure that's in the center. When everything's in the center, hit enter. Now, without pushing too hard, I just want you to gently take all the sticks and go to all the corners. Just go around like this. Okay? When you do that one, go back and do this one. Okay, just like that. Go back to the center. And then just turn the dial down and up and then down, and then up, and one more time, down, and make sure you go all the way both times, okay? There you go, and when you're done, hit enter. Now, we're gonna exit, 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 there we go. Now look at our screen, okay? Let me show you our screen now, all right? So check this out. You see how now they're almost all at 1500. The only one that's really messing around is the roll, and we're gonna actually tune that out right now, so I'm gonna show you how to do that next, ready? Here goes. <clears throat> the other thing that I want you to notice, though, is that if we take our throttle all the way down, we're to 987, right? All right, so we're going to go ahead and we're going to start doing a stick setup here in just a second. I'll stop this video and we'll come back to that in just a second.